We finally got some official news from Rockstar regarding Red Dead Online, so I thought it would be a perfect time to discuss, number one, the information that we did get, and number two, what concerns I have regarding Red Dead Online. So starting out with the release date, they are releasing the beta in waves in order to ease the stress on the servers because we all know what happened with GTA Online when it launched. There's probably still going to be loads of issues, but hey, at least they're trying to make it better. But basically, if you bought the Ultimate Edition of the game, which I think is 90 US dollars, then congratulations, you get to be among the first to play Red Dead Online starting tomorrow, November 27th. If you played the game on its release day, you get to access online the next day, which is the Wednesday, November 28th. This is the category that I fall into. If you played within the first week of the game's launch, then you get to play it on Thursday. And then finally, the beta launches for all players on Friday, November 30th. Literally the last day of November, so they weren't kidding when they said the beta was coming out at the end of November. I'll have a link to the official article in the description for where I'm getting this information from. They gave some information regarding on what you'll be able to do in online. Obviously, you'll be able to create and customize your character. Hopefully, the character customization is good. When GT Online launched on last gen, it was awful, to be honest. With next gen, it was a little bit better. We will be able to tailor our abilities to our playstyle. Now, when I read this, I immediately think of a game like Destiny, where you have different classes of characters that each have their own separate abilities. However, I don't think that's going to be the case. It's most likely just their special wording. If that is the case, though, and we do have different abilities, that might make for some cool team-oriented gameplay, playing off of our different abilities. The posse system from the first game is coming back, you're going to be able to have up to 7 people in your posse, and from looking at the achievements, it looks like we're going to be able to upgrade our camp. And this actually sounds like a fun idea, you know, having our whole posse able to make contributions to the camp to upgrade it. Now, I'm wondering how that's going to work though, because if a player leaves the posse, are they going to have their own camp that they can upgrade and start a posse from? There's just a lot of things that we'll have to figure out when it launches. They say we're going to be able to attack other gangs' hideouts. I wonder if this is referring to the NPC gang hideouts, or if we're going to actually be able to raid other player hideouts, because I think that would be really funny. We can have spontaneous skirmishes and pitched set-piece battles with other outlaws. I'm assuming that means players. And there's also challenges that you can compete with other players and posses in. Probably just like how GTA Online has the free room challenges, I feel like you'd be able to draw a lot of similarities between online in this game and online from GTA 5 just from reading this article. Now I want to talk about some concerns that I have with the online mode. The first one being with our online characters. In GTA Online, they were mute, they didn't ever talk, but in RDR2, interacting with NPCs and talking is kind of a huge part of what makes the world alive, so if we can't do that, then a huge part of the game will be missing, I feel like. Hopefully when we create our character, there's like hundreds of different voices that we can choose from, so it doesn't feel like our characters are the exact same people. That's if our characters aren't going to be mute like they are in GTA Online. Second thing I'm concerned about is special ammo. Online game balance is not exactly Rockstar's strong suit. And if explosive ammo either ragdolls players or one-shots players, then it's going to get annoying really fast. Now, I know you could say, oh, in GT Online, the explosive sniper ragdolls and it used to one-shot. Right, but they are needed in GT Online. I don't think you're ever going to be in a situation in RDR2 Online where you're getting strafed by a jet with explosive cannons. Unless they really go all out with the wackiness and add like flying horses with the laser beam eyes and uh, hot air balloons with explosive guns attached to them, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I'm also worried that express ammo is going to be the norm because it's just simply better than regular ammo and there's literally zero downsides to it. Unless they make it like really expensive in online, they could do that I guess. These next two I kind of formed into one big one since they seem to fit in the same category, and that is grinding and the entire in-game economy overall. I don't know why, but I can just picture a cell mission in RDR2 Online. You know, you drive this carriage around the whole map and you have to avoid other players trying to kill you, that kind of thing. And same with the cost of the items. You guys remember in GTA 5 story mode, everything was super cheap to buy. For example, changing the color of your car. And then in the online mode, it costs like $14,000 to change your paint job. I hope they don't pull out the same thing here with the online mode. And to wrap things up, we have horse griefing. Just imagine this for a second. Alright, you just bought a new expensive horse, you paid like $1,000 for it. You go outside and a player murders you and your horse. I think I'd probably throw my controller against the wall if it was completely gone and I had to get a new one. Or imagine if horse survivors, imagine if they make them super expensive. Oh my goodness, that better not be the case. But anyways, those are my concerns and opinions about the online mode based off of the information we got today. I might make a response to this video after the online mode is out if some of the things I mentioned here happen to be true. But I'm super excited to play though, it should be a lot of fun to play with your friends. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. I can't wait to make PvP videos in the online mode in this game, it's going to be awesome. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.